Today, we're exploring the three best no-code builders for beginners. These tools are great for anyone with an idea, but no coding experience. Before we dive in, if you want to level up your no-code and AI skills, visit nocode.mba or visit the link in the description. We offer courses on everything from Webflow to Bubble, and now even how to build AI-powered apps. Now, let's get into it. First up is Webflow, a powerful website builder that stands out from other tools. Webflow allows you the coding flexibility of HTML, CSS, and JavaScript without having to write code. It allows you to visually design your site, kind of like you're using Photoshop or Figma, but you're actually building a functional website. It has responsive design built in, so you can create mobile-friendly sites with real-time previews for different devices. It has CMS capabilities, which allow you to build dynamic content that updates automatically, which is really great for websites like blogs or also e-commerce sites. And then it also has interactions and animations, so you can add complex animations that typically require advanced JavaScript knowledge. Webflow is one of my personal favorite tools. I use it for most websites that I build for others or for my own businesses. And I think it's a great tool for beginners to get started with because there's also a lot of templates that you can use to work off of so you don't have to start from scratch. Next up is Bubble. Bubble is my go-to solution for building web applications without code. It allows you to build fully functional web apps, and it integrates the database, which is the back end of your app, with the front end of your app as well, and the logic layer that connects both of those together. So all of it is connected into one tool, which I find makes it a little bit easier to work with compared to other tools like Flutterflow or WeWeb, where you have to bring your own database. Some of the key features of Bubble is first, it's visual programming. So you can use a drag and drop interface for both the UI design and also the logic creation. The database management, as I mentioned before, you can create and manage complex databases without having to understand SQL um, or understand how to work with external databases. It also has an API connector, so you can easily integrate external services. That's things like OpenAI, Stable Diffusion, or Stripe, or uh, any external service that you can think of to expand your app's capabilities. There's also plugins that Bubble has to really easily connect external services if you don't want to set up your own API connection. And then it also has scalability, so you can handle increased traffic as your user base grows without worrying about server management. So that's something that Bubble worries about and deals with, and there's millions of apps that are built on Bubble, so they have to know how to have their apps work with a lot of users. One thing to note is Bubble has a steeper learning curve than Webflow, but the difference is that with Webflow, you're just building a static website. And with Bubble, you're building fully interactive apps with a database and logic. So the difference is that for Bubble, you're gonna be able to build more of a SaaS product, an app. With Webflow, you're building more of a website. The third tool to recommend is Glide. Glide is a little bit in the middle of Bubble and Webflow in terms of both functionality and the complexity. So Glide allows you to build apps similar to Bubble. It has the database integrated either directly into Glide, or you can use an external Google Sheet or Excel spreadsheet as the database. So this is something that's really helpful if you already have data and you just want to build an app layer on top of it. There's also a bunch of app templates and components, so you can uh, put these components into your app without having to build them from scratch, which is really helpful if you're a beginner, but it means you can't customize the look and feel of your app the way that you can with Bubble. Uh, so the learning curve is easier, but it's not quite as customizable. Glide also has instant updates. So similar to Bubble, uh, when your database updates uh, or your Google Sheet updates, the app can update as well. Um, and Glide apps are really powerful. So you can create things like task managers, inventory systems, customer databases, um, all from a spreadsheet or a database. So what Glide is better for is simple prototypes or internal apps that you're gonna use inside of the business. The reason for this is because of their pricing. So they charge per user, uh, which makes it uh, not as great for an app that you're going to scale up to a lot of users using it the way that you could with Bubble. But with Glide, it's gonna be really good for getting up a really quick prototype uh, and then uh, once you have that prototype built, uh, if you validated your idea, then you can build uh, something with Bubble that scales a little bit more. So to recap, here are three no-code tools that I recommend for beginners. First is Webflow for building websites. Next is Bubble for web apps. And Glide is 
for building more simple web apps uh, that don't need as much complexity as Bubble. For in-depth tutorials and projects on these tools and other no-code and AI solutions, check out our courses at nocode.mba and we'll help you go from your idea to a working prototype or app. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel if you want to get more free content like this in the future, and I'll see you in the next video.